So right on the heels of giving Matt his new job title with us, I got a call from his old supervisors at Dixon Prison asking me for my help. They have two pit bulls in their program that have developed some unfavorable problems. They really did me right by um, giving us Country Matt. So of course, I'm gonna do whatever I can to help them. Hey, Miss T, how you doing? Hi. Appreciate you coming out. Hi. My name's John Smith. I'm a colonel here at Pen Pals Animal Shelter, the Dixon Correctional Institute. The Dixon Correctional Institute is actually where I first met Matt. Hi. Hi, Tia. Nice Kevin Tanner. You. Hi, nice to meet you. Pleasure. They have two pit bulls in their shelter that have developed some behavioral problems, and they wanted me to take a look at them. Hi, who are you? This is Ninya. Ninya? Hi, Mommy. The Master Sergeant Tanner said Ninya is frantic in the kennels, the insane barking, the jumping up and hitting the kennel. She actually injured her paw, and we've been treating it. You oh, right yeah, there. yeah, a little sore. Yeah, okay. about a week ago. I can see how frustrating it is when all you're trying to do is help a dog and keep it safe, and then she just ends up hurting herself. And this is Skye. Inside the kennel, she's just... She goes nuts when people walk by. She right. jumps, barks, hits the cage. Um, so I would open the door, um, treat her, you know, if she's quiet. Okay. Yeah, don't give her a before chance she to melts. Don't reward, yeah, before she melts, you know. I think giving the dogs boundaries within their kennel environment is going to help. But the bigger problem I see is that these dogs have some major anxiety. And as I'm standing here talking to these guys. I can actually hear where I think the root of the problem is stemming from. Oh, look at this. It's OK. Don't be scared. The environment that I saw here was very common. I mean, when I've gone to other shelters, it is the norm for the dogs to bark a lot. We're not the norm at Villalobos. We try to run a really tight ship and keep the dogs calm and quiet. When you have a bunch of dogs barking, it just creates frantic chaos anxiety. Some days I can walk through and they'll bark for like 10 seconds, and then some days it's like two minutes. Right, right. I think once the guys start getting a handle on the excessive barking in the kennel, they're going to see a lot of improvement in Sky and Ninya, and with all the other dogs. You're dealing with a mob here. So if it's one person trying to control the mob, you got to get their attention first. I go, hey, oh, now let's begin, you know? And once I had their attention, then it was, you know, treating them, using them, you know, to be quiet, bring one person in. The minute they erupt, send the person out. Eh. You don't get nothing till you be quiet. That person can come back in, then you'll get your treats again. Tia was great. She showed me a few training aids and tricks that we can do. And she said, within a few weeks, you will see a difference. And I'm looking forward to doing it. Just have a seat. Ronnie, come see. This is uh, Miss Tia. This is Ronnie oh, Beachler. Wow. See, uh, oh, yeah. Heard so much about he was like some executive or something. <laughs> he opened this place up with us. And now he's discharged. He's, discharged. he's out. He's going to school for uh, vet, tech. vet tech. How long have you been here? I've been here for seven years. He's out. He's out. Oh, you yeah. are? He's out. He's oh, free. He we came back. back for the day. And you came back? <laughs> Just visit. Oh, okay. Seeing a change in offender with uh, their dedication, their desire to put into these dogs, and the great success they, that comes out in it, it, it makes me walk out this gate with a smile. It was great. Once again, steal a hug. So as I was leaving, they asked me how Matt was doing, and I told them, of course, great and that they should come to Villalobos and uh, see for themselves. <laughs> OK. And I'm going to bring you something. OK, bye. So they jumped at the invitation, and they're actually going to come by the warehouse tomorrow. So Matt's got a big day ahead of him. Mm -hmm.